hello everyone in this video I will explain about different input and output devices of our computer system so let's start okay let's start with the input device the devices that uh, accept the data from the user and sends to the CPU for further processing is known as the input device uh, for example the keyboard and mouse these devices are input devices because they give input to the computer system uh, we can give input or we can enter data in our computer with the help of keyboard similarly we can use mouse to give instructions to our computer that is why keyboard and mouse are considered as the input device so those devices that helps to give data and instructions to the computer are called input devices similarly output devices are those devices that gives us output for example the monitor displays the result of processing we can see the result of processing on the monitor that is why monitor is the output device as well as we can print the informations on the printer uh, that is displayed on the monitor so printer is also the output device thus uh, those devices that gives us output are considered as the output devices the following input devices will be discussed in this video uh, such as keyboard mouse scanner microphone touchpad light pen joystick and digital camera beside this we will see some of the output devices as well so stay with me first of all let me tell you about the keyboard actually a keyboard is the primary input device that is very important to enter data and instructions in our computer system it is the most useful input device that helps to uh, provide data to our computer system or give instructions to our computer system with the help of several keys that are available on the keyboard we use the alphabet keys for typing words similarly we use function keys for different type of uh, uh, activities we have arrow keys and some special keys for a special task and as well as we have numeric keys uh, for typing numbers so all these uh, different uh, parts of the keyboard contributes in providing the data and instructions to our computer system that is why it is the useful and very important input device mouse is another important input device in our computer system it is a small pointing device that helps to give instructions to the computer by selecting menus or items on the computer screen the mouse pointer moves according to the movement of the mouse and the pointer is called cursor this cursor moves with the movement of the mouse and whenever we click on any items or select any menus the functions will be uh, done by our computer system the mouse uh, clicks are uh, the instructions to our computer system it may be single click or double click or right click left click as well as drag and drop drag and drop is the function of the mouse that helps to move the files and folders from one location to another so the mouse provide instructions to our computer system with a click or double click and drag and drop so it is a input device that helps to give instructions to our computer system similarly scanner is another input device of our computer system that helps to scan the documents or image the scanned documents or images are converted into digital form that can be edited in our computer system and modified according to our need in scanner is the input device that converts this printed documents or pictures into the digital form microphone is another input device that helps to input the sound or we can input the voice to our computer system with the help of microphone microphone converts the audio 
into the digital form and transferred to the computer that is understood by our computer system and processed by it. Our laptop has inbuilt microphone. We can record our own voice and we can record sound with the help of the microphone. In the desktop computer we have to add the microphone from the outside. There is no any inbuilt microphone in the desktop computers. However, in the laptop we have inbuilt microphone in our smartphone also there is microphone to input our voice. So it is the important input device that helps to input the voice and convert it into the digital form. Touchpad is another important input device of a computer system especially available in the laptop. Touchpad is a small touch sensitive pad that acts as an input device in the laptop. You can move the cursor by moving your fingers on the touchpad and perform all the activities that can be performed with the mouse. It works just like a mouse but we have to move our fingers on the touchpad for giving instructions to our computer system. Another input device is the light pen. A light pen is a pointing device that utilizes a light sensitive detector to select object on the display screen. It works just like a mouse to select the object on the screen. Uh, in nowadays we have we can see uh, the stick that is available to different uh, smartphones as well that are used to give input in the system. So light pen is the input device that helps to point a particular object or select some menus by touching on the screen. Joystick is another input device uh, similar to the mouse basically it is used to play games instructions in the games can be provided with the help of this joystick that controls the character in the game you might have used this device while playing the video game and joystick is a input device that helps to control the characters in the uh, game and basically used for playing the game so it is another uh, input device finally let me tell you about the digital camera digital camera is also an input device that captures the picture of an object and transfer them to the computer in the digital form that can be edited and manipulated according to the need of the user we can get the image is captured by the camera with the help of the memory that is inside the camera. In our laptop we have the web camera or inbuilt camera that can capture the images and pictures and act as the input device because it input the image to the computer system in the digital form. Now let me tell you some of the output devices like the monitor a printer and speaker so let's start with the monitor monitor is a soft copy output device that displays the result of processing whatever the result is generated by the cpu is displayed on the monitor that is why monitor is called the output device and it is the soft copy output device because it gives us temporary output on the screen which can be saved in our computer system in the digital form there are different types of uh, monitor like LCD LED or CRT monitor and these are the most important output device that displays the result of processing similarly printer is another important output device of a computer system it is the hard copy output device that prints the output information on the paper and it is called hard copy output device because it gives permanent output on the paper by printing the output information on the paper inkjet printer dot matrix printer laser printer are some types of printer that helps to print the output information on the paper so they are the hard copy output devices 
finally let me tell you about the speaker which is also a output device that gives audio output to us it is a soft copy output device because the output of the speaker is in the soft copy format so we can listen to the sound uh, with the help of this speaker in our laptop we have inbuilt speakers however in case of our desktop we need to use the external speaker for the audio output so this much uh, for now i hope you have understood about the input and output devices if you have understood like it and share i will be back with another video till then bye bye thank you everyone